Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, once we got in that offensive groove, you know, we felt like we were, um, you know, pushing that ball up and getting um, good shots for us. Uh, it was basically kind of just getting the rebound, getting stops and pushing it. That's where we play free and play best and spotting up like Surf does. Um, we just, you know, we'd be in the third and fourth. We just need to bring that all four quarters. Did it more start on the defensive end, though, as far as trying to get some stops there, but also being able to run and yeah. not, not play half-court offense? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, there was a lot of long rebounds, and, you know, in the second half we adjusted to the to the long rebounds and felt like we were able to get, it, get out and get some quick buckets. Um, you know, we got some wide-open shots. I think we did execute in the half-court. We just couldn't make them, especially in the first half. So, um, yeah. The, the scoring drafts you guys had in the first half, just how does that – how does that wear on a team? How does that wear on a player, knowing the ball's not going in? Yeah, it's, it's mentally tough. Um, you know, you got to dig deep, and um, especially when, you know, you're against a talented Michigan State team that are going to run it down your throat. Uh, we just had to lock in. I mean, we kept them to 35 at the half, and that's, you know, what we wanted. So uh, it was more so just putting our points on the board at that point. Just you've seen some glimpses of Sophie the last few weeks. Just what – what kind of future does she have here with her ability to shoot the ball that she the way that she does? Yeah, she's just a straight up bucket. Like she just she gives us points. Uh, she gives us speed and she's dynamic. So she's able to you know draw defenders and you know they have to defend her. They have to respect her shot and her drive. So um, yeah, she's great to have on the floor and she's only getting better every game. And um, yeah, really proud of her today. Sophie, any different coming into this game? How you felt and or anything like that? Um, no, just staying ready, being prepared, um, being able to do what I do, try my best, do what I can when I'm in, make the most of my minutes. You hit, you hit a couple threes early, mm -hmm. but then they they tried to challenge you out on the perimeter. I mean, does do you then kick in and say you got to you got to go to the basket? You got to do something different at that point. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if they're going to be running me off the line, um, I can pull up from mid range, take it to the basket, but. Do you feel like that part of your game is, is still evolving, or do you, how do you feel like the progress you've made in that area this year? Um, I think there's still room to grow, obviously, um, with my knee. Um, just getting used to like the physicality of driving in um, an in-game situation. So, um, yeah, probably just getting used to it. And the more I play, I, I will. Similar question I asked Abby about when you, when you see those scoring droughts or you're involved in those scoring droughts, how do you, how do you not that – let that wear on you as a player? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but um, we just come together, we talk, um, we need to stay together, and we lock in, um, and we know that <clears throat> just keep shooting our shots and they'll fall. Hey, guys, so um, really seemed like, uh, you know, you were on that 6-3 run to start, a couple of layups uh, there within the first three minutes that just – didn't go how uh, how huge were were sort of sort of those missed opportunities you know late, later in the game you know some some fast break looks that you usually make and just didn't convert them yeah and i i think uh you know though in, in important times of the game um you know you just got to keep looking ahead to the next play and i think we did do that uh you know and it's just it's just being confident in yourself and keep taking those shots uh and that's what we did in we kept taking out wide open shots, and you know we executed really well. Uh, just didn't fall for us down the stretch. Um, Sophie, man, I mean you you were shooting it four or five in the in the first half. Um, what do you think is just going to be the key for you moving forward as far as you know elevating other parts of your game? That way you're as deadly from from the outside as uh, you know you can be. You know attacking. Um, just getting in the gym, working on my weaknesses. Um, I think definitely driving is one of them right now. Um, I just have to get used to it with my knee, but, yeah. Abby, for you, I mean, you know, going on that late run, you go on a 13-3 spurt there. Um, where do you feel like that, that kind of energy came from? I mean, you know, seeing sort of the stagnant part of what was going on and then, you know, hitting a couple of big shots there. Yeah, I think it was just our pace. Um, we did a great job pushing the ball. Um, they, you know, they're a kind of a press man-to-man -man team. So when we we're able to get it over that first line, uh, we'll be able to take advantage of the, um, the like a two-on-three or a one-on-two. Uh, and I think again, we still could have made some more of those shots. 
uh, but it was just pushing the pace against ups. What did you think of the physicality of the game? It seemed like Mary Ashley was trying to take a charge there and, uh, you know, unfortunately didn't get called and might have led to some some frustration a little bit. As far as, like, the, the physicality of the game was concerned, how, how do you feel that went? I mean, that's just the game of basketball. We just have to play through it and... Mm. Just adjust, adjust to the refs. There, mm-hmm. You know, a few bumps here and there, but uh, we just got to be stronger. And I think, you know, we kept our heads up every time we drove and went for a rebound. Thank you. You guys are down 14 and a half, and eventually you cut down to four. What was Coach Gerald's talk to you guys in halftime to motivate you guys for that second half? Uh, she, she motivated us <laughs> with her words. Um, she just, you know, she put every ounce of belief in us and we believed in each other and you know we we knew our shots weren't falling and that's something that you know we can adjust to and we just came out with the same energy same defensive energy and we just kept going we just stayed true to ourselves and Sophie those first couple of threes you were open there in the wings what did you like in that defensive matchup that opened you up so much I mean my teammates they were getting me open I had those open looks um I mean we work on it in practice too so just knocking them down and doing my part. And lastly, against that press, you guys beat the press a lot in the first half. You guys didn't convert. What did you guys game plan for once you guys beat that three-person press and you were a three-on-two under the basket? Yeah, uh, we really wanted to cross the floor, uh, you know, put their post player or their guards running back under pressure. Um, I think we did a really good job. Um, and then, like, you know, we had an open shot or hitting MA on a little two-point shot. Uh, but, yeah, just keep on pushing that ball and crossing the court. What was your reaction to the technical foul that Katie, Katie drew? I mean, do you feel like in some ways it kind of helped, you know, motivate and energize the team a little bit, seeing, you know, that much emotion from, from your coach? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it just shows she has our back, and we have to have hers.